Hello everyone. What we did uh, last time was about uh, the VBA Project Explorer file where we had seen that uh, VBA Excel file is treated as a project and within each project there are objects like Microsoft Excel objects, forms, modules and class modules and uh, within each module or uh, within each project you know we can write uh, subroutines like this uh, within sheet 1, sheet 2, sheet 3, sheet 4 and so on and so forth and we also saw that there were certain limitations associated with writing codes within each sheet. Went and looked at why modules were required and uh, modules help uh, the VBA coders to kind of uh, make this organizationally uh, way better than and uh, writing codes individually across the worksheets. So um, modules were much better, the coders, and uh, it is uh, helpful in terms of you know identifying all the codes which you may have written. In addition, we had also discussed uh, you know different kinds of uh, objects like forms and class modules to a very limited extent. What we are going to do now is uh, that uh, uh, there's something called properties here. So there's a properties window and if I click on the properties window you'll find that this pops up. So what exactly this actually means? Uh, so for this I'll open the notepad and um, kind of give you a very laymanish kind of example. Uh, let's say you have a pen. A pen would be kind of treated as an object, right? Uh, it's basically an object which you can touch, right? Uh, now uh, if I if I think about the properties of a pen now what kind of properties it could actually have the pen could be a red ink it can have black ink it can have green ink it can have blue ink you know these are certain set of properties within the pen now uh, this could be a nib pen it could be a gel pen a ballpoint pen you know there are certain other properties which I'm trying to associate this pen to pen itself aesthetically could be of different colors and shapes you know, it can be a big pen, can be a small pen. Uh, so, as you can see, when pen is an object, it has different properties associated with it, right? So, likewise, when we are calling these uh, on the left hand side, these sheet one, these are objects. Uh, so, the moment we click here, there are certain properties associated with that object. So, it can have a name. So, we have actually written a name as A. Uh, likewise, you know, it can have uh, a different set of properties like display page breaks or uh, display right to left, enable calculations. So, uh, these can be looked at from these property windows. So, just to give you an example here, let's say this visibility is, um, uh, the sheet is visible now. So, this sheet named A is visible. So, uh, let's say what if I make it as zero, which is hidden. So, what will happen to my worksheet? So as you can see, my sheet A uh, is actually hidden now. So this is how probably you would uh, kind of utilize uh, the properties uh, to an extent possible. Uh, I think a better example here could be uh, related to a user form. Let's say when we when we talk about a user form, if I click on a user form, you will find that there's a, a, a whole box that opens up. and. Um, this box is actually is used uh, for uh, designing various forms uh, which are aesthetically pleasing as well as uh, uh, kind of very useful uh, so we'll be discussing how to create user forms but for the time being I just wanted to highlight what are the properties associated with these user forms uh, so okay, you can see here that you know these these user forms have different color styles um, maybe I may want to kind of change the back color let's say yellow so you can change this, you can change the border styles, uh, maybe you can also change the fonts, um, something like this, where you have the regular ones and size 8, you can change it to 12 or probably, you know, uh, there's a certain set of properties associated with each object and uh, that's why, uh, you know, uh, these are kind of very useful. Likewise, in module, you'll find that there are certain properties. So uh, the one of the property was, uh, it's a name which could be used within the VBA editor. So something like this. So let's say if I want to change the name of uh, this module, I cannot just click here and right click and you know probably use something like a change name, uh, which we normally do for the other uh, window explorer files. Uh, but here you can change it within the VBA editor. 
uh, by clicking here on um, the module one and let's say uh, this is uh, this this module is called as department so it will kind of change let's say module two was uh, employees so these modules can be named and uh, probably now you will realize that why this could be organizationally uh, better because we could easily name these and you know code this separately so again uh, uh, excellent feature uh, uh, provided here uh, one clean uh, difference I guess which uh, we must uh, also look at is when I click on sheet one uh, you may note that there are two names here there's name within the bracket which says sheet one so obviously this is sheet one and um, there's a name here and it says a so uh, earlier we had hidden this sheet let me just make this as a visible sheet and um, what essentially uh, there are two names is all about is that this a b c d e this is what is being shown in the second name right so this is what is the display name the one which is within the bracket is basically used for the VBE editor to identify the object so um, and don't worry too much about all these things clear uh, difference could be identified when you actually click on department modules uh, here the modules are actually only internal to the VB editor you will not find modules or say for example a user form uh, within the VBA project Excel file here you don't find user forms and modules here as a display so they have only one name associated with them however when we talk about these sheets there are two names so I, I guess uh, that's that's what uh, all about uh, the properties explorer you can actually use a shortcut which is F4 to open up uh, these properties as well